Hello everyone, this is Taryn with Wonderfully Made Handcrafting and welcome back to Hymn Stories on Mondays. Um, so today's hymn story is actually a newer song. It's called Is He Worthy? and it's written by Andrew Peterson. Now many may know the song by Chris Tomlin because Chris Tomlin asked for the rights to put it on an album and he kind of made it more popular. However, my brother has always really loved Andrew Peterson and we have as a family, he has some amazing songs. And so I actually knew it first by him, who was the actual writer, and I prefer his version best. But anyways, this song, Is He Worthy, was written in 2018. Um, Andrew Peterson was in the studio trying to write um, a CD about the resurrection. And so he um, attends a liturgical church and decided that he really wanted a song that had a question and answer response. And so um, that is how this song was kind of birthed. So if you've never heard of this song before, I highly suggest you look it up. It has amazing lyrics that are really deep and uh, worshipful. Um, and it does have that question and answer response that I know some churches use as a question and answer. And some churches actually just sing the whole thing all together. Um, but I did want to give you a little snippet of this song in the lyrics and it says the first verse says do you feel the world is broken we do do you feel the shadows deepen we do but do you know that all the dark won't stop the light from getting through we do do you wish that you could see it all made new we do and then another verse later on that I really love says, does the Father truly love us? He does. Does the Spirit move among us? He does. And does Jesus, our Messiah, hold forever those he loves? He does. Does our God intend to dwell again with us? He does. But the main part of this song is obviously the chorus. And it says, is anyone worthy? Is anyone whole? Is anyone able to break the seal and open the scroll? The Lion of Judah who conquered the grave. He is David's root and the Lamb who died to ransom the slave. Is he worthy? Is he worthy of all blessing and honor and glory? Is he worthy of this? He is. So as you read the lyrics to the song, it is reinforced all throughout verses in the Bible, but the main chorus can be taken especially from Revelation 5. John is speaking here and he says, Then I saw in the right hand of him who was seated on the throne a scroll written within and on the back sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. And I began to weep loudly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. And one of the elders said to me, weep no more. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. And between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders, I saw a lamb standing as though it had been slain with seven horns and with seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. And he went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who was seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb, each holding a harp and golden bowls of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song saying, worthy are you to take the scroll and to open its seals for you were slain and by your blood, you ransomed people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have made them a kingdom and priests to our God and they shall reign on the earth. If you've never read Revelation, I highly suggest you do. I know it can be really confusing, um, but it's really interesting and God gave it to us to read, so it's important to do so. Um, but back to this pocket card, I know many of you wonder if there's any reasoning behind the designs I do on the front of my Hymn Stories pocket cards. Now, sometimes there is, sometimes I try to pick a picture or ephemera pieces that line up with the hymn or um, song that I am studying. However, this week it's just 
it has nothing to do with it. Um, I had a bunch of kind of bank ephemera, had this little photo um, from By the Well that came with the pocket Bible. And so I really wanted to use that. And I also had this handwriting booklet um, page that had this um, how to write checks basically. And so I thought that was fun. And I just like the antique look. That plaid fabric tape is from um, Tim Holtz's new Christmas collection. And here I am adding some embossing glaze to some grit paste. Now you definitely wanna wait for it to dry. Um, you don't wanna heat set grit paste while it's wet. Um, it's not good for you. So don't do that. Um, but I did wait for it to dry here and I am heat setting it. Now I probably could have waited a little bit longer for it to dry, but I'm impatient. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'm okay. But anyways, I heat set this and then I do come in with um, some distress crayons to grunge it up even more so. I like to make sure that there's not too much white in the grit paste um, poking through. So that helps with um, the distress crayon. And it also just kind of fills in the empty places um, on the card that I don't have that. So I decide to pick a darker um, color uh, distress crayon. I think I chose Walnut Stain and I'm just going through and adding that around the edges. After using the distress crayon, this pocket card will be done. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me over on Instagram at Wonderfully Made Handcrafting. I'll try to link everything I use down below in the description if you want to pick those up. Those are affiliate links down there. So thank you so much for those of you that use it. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.